What's up guys, got something very special filmed for you today. We're gonna to be going through a day in my life on competition prep. So I'm a couple weeks out or less than a couple weeks out now from my first show. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through what a typical day looks like for me. So I typically like to start off my days with bringing the boy out to the park. This is an easy way for me to get around three to 4,000 steps before I even have my first meal. So we're gonna go walk over to the dog park and while I'm playing fetch with him, I'm just gonna be pacing back and forth. And then after that, I like to do two laps around, which usually brings me around to four or 5,000 steps. Break, legs. So typically we'll stay here for about 15, 20 minutes. Some days I may just stay here and not do the little apartment walk after just because I pace up and down so much that I get around 4,000 steps anyways. That's kind of my goal before I go back inside, getting around that four or 5,000 steps. Or if I know I'm gonna be really active later in the day, then around 3,000 is fine. So we'll be here for maybe 15, 20 minutes and then go on a little walk. Break. Just finished up at the park, and I know that we're done because Bobo will always carry his ball the entire walk <laughs> if he has been sufficiently played with. So now I'm gonna do a couple laps around my apartment here. I got close to 2,000 steps, just pacing back and forth at the dog park. So I'll probably hit that four to 5,000 with these couple of laps. Typically I would have my pre-workout, pre-workout, but since I've been going to bed so early around Maybe from like 11 to midnight. Um, I like to have my pre-workout just first thing in the morning before I've even had any kind of meal. That way I get my caffeine intake in, feel like a human being, feel a little bit more alive uh, straight out of bed before I have my meal. So I'm gonna take my Legion pre-workout here. This is gonna be around 350 milligrams of caffeine and that will be my full caffeine intake for the day. And then I'll hit the gym a little bit later and still be feeling good. A small pre-workout meal that I'm having, just these sardines in tomato sauce. Macros are pretty good. So it's only 170 calories, seven grams of fat, no carbs, 27 grams of protein, pretty light. And it's gonna keep me satiated throughout my workout. Leg day, going down today, leaving for the gym right now. I'll see you guys there. This is gonna be a bit more of a hamstring focused day, but I'm also gonna hit a little bit of adductors and some quads with leg extensions and leg press. Just pulled up to the gym. Now, like I said, we're doing a bit more of a hamstring focused day, a little less quads since I'm not doing anything like hack squats or pendulums. Now, if you've seen any of my previous training videos or vlogs, you know I've been doing a seated leg curl, but I'm going to opt for this lying leg curl just because the seated leg curl is working the hamstring still through knee flexion, but at a longer muscle length, which is a bit more damaging. And I wanna make sure that my hamstrings are well recovered leading into the show. So I think we're around a week and a half-ish out right now. So just trying to do what I can to avoid any kind of muscle damage so that I can have that nice crispy look come show day and make sure there's no inflammation or anything like that. So we're gonna start out with this and I'll show you guys the rest of the workout. We'll go from there. So I just went ahead and did two warm up sets around the eight to 10 rep range for the first one and then six to eight with the second warm up set, which is going to be my working rep range. So just bumped it up to 170 here, which is one away from the full stack. Uh, we're gonna try and hit around that six to eight reps, um, but I'm just gonna get close to failure, so if I have to go a little bit over that, then that's totally fine. When I'm doing these, I really like to make sure that I'm almost thrusting into the pad, that way my hips aren't lifting and my lower back's not extending as I do them. super heavy. I'm gonna have to do a drop set. <laughs> that was a really hard set. Oh my god. So the thing about me and my training is that 
I would much rather go heavier than lighter for those sets, just because even if I only get three or four good reps out of that, that's still three or four effective reps. And then that's how I use drop sets. If I load it a bit too heavy and I only hit maybe three full reps, then I'll just do a quick drop, get some more effective reps in. And that way I don't have to do a whole other extra set to accumulate more reps. So nice way to save some time and keep the intensity high during your workouts. So I'm just gonna do one more set. Definitely going to uh, <laughs> go lower, probably just go to like 130 and rep that out and just do however many I can. If I wanna get an extra 1,000 or 2,000 steps, then what I'll do between sets if the, the gym isn't too busy, I'll just kind of pace around. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna be resting like two to three minutes anyways. So I can just do a quick lap around the area just cause there's really not that many people here. So I don't feel bad just moving around the gym, getting some extra steps, easy, easy way to do it. I know this is something that uh, Bart also likes to do as well. And it's something that I've also followed doing as my activity level has increased throughout this prep. So if you guys work pretty sedentary jobs, that's something you can try out too. Last set, let's get it. Put it up to 130. Easy peasy. Now I think I'm gonna go do some thinking leg press. So let's run that. Since I'm doing a bilateral leg press today, I'm just gonna go ahead, start with three on here. Um, Cause I know I'm gonna have to load a fair amount of plates and I don't wanna spend a bunch of time doing one, two, three plates, five plates, six plates, just warming up <laughs> for an unnecessary amount of time. So we'll start here and I'll probably ramp up with two or three plates every single set. I'll still go with a bit of a lower foot position, maybe a little bit wider. Um, and we'll just see how it looks uh, for these first initial warm-up sets. And I'll decide from there. Nice. So getting some decent adductor glute quad out of that. Um, not a full stretch on the quads, more of like a mid range, but it's kind of perfect for what I want because I'm going to be doing some uh, hack squats or pendulums later this week. So loaded up another three plates on here. Still going to be a warm up set because I've literally done this with <laughs> one leg before. So I have to imagine that I'm going to be able to do it with both. So let's run this. I think I'm, I don't know, I don't know how many plates I'm going to get up to today. We'll see. I might have to pull out the hundred pound plates here in a second. Pretty easy five, or however many that was. <laughs> Luckily, my gym has 100 pound plates. It's basically two and one. All right, so 
basically got two, four, six, and this is eight, nine plates. Um, kind of want to go put one more on just to make it ten. Make it a uh, nice little even number. So let's do that. So that was, a, that was a pretty tough five. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna take two off of each side and then we'll, we'll run that back again. <sighs> I didn't go down quite as deep just because from that previous warm up set, I could definitely feel that I let my pelvis rotate a bit, loaded my lower back a little from doing that. Uh, so, just made sure to stay within my active range of motion in this set, not go so far that I'm loading the spine at the bottom of the movement. Definitely don't want to hurt myself this close to a show. <laughs> All right, so I basically have two, four, six, eight plates aside now. I'm gonna try and run that for probably close to seven, eight reps, hopefully. Just getting close to failure. Just kind of letting myself return back to baseline a little bit. I don't want my set to be limited just because of something silly like cardio or whatever. Plus, I just have to prepare myself mentally <laughs> for some of these sets. Oh. Especially because I'm, I'm doing this for you guys with no music. It's usually easier where I can just kind of zone out and bump my head to whatever, but this, this is for you guys. All right. Let's do it. Any second now. Any second, I'm gonna lift this heavy weight. It's gonna move so quick. Any moment. Oh, huh, here we go. Okay. All right, JP. You, you do this. This is this is normal. So easy, easy, easy. And that's how you fail safely on a leg press. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I would say got the hard stuff out of the way, which would be leg press. So now you can go ham on these leg extensions. Uh, if I do two sets, I'm thinking, and then we'll finish with some probably adductor. Feels really light. Whew. 
So I think I'm just gonna do a few reps at this weight and then I'll go into my working set. So lads, we got the full stack on here. Of course, nothing less. And we're gonna see what we can do. You gotta get in the zone. One more set. <laughs> so I guess sometimes we do less than the stack because definitely gonna have to drop the weight after that. Okay, we're done with that. Time for some adductors. Go do two sets of that as well. So we finished up the lift, good workout. Now we are at the short pump mall. I like coming here, just getting some more steps in, just walk around and make my bank account cry sometimes. Uh, but today we're just making a return. So anything, my bank account will be 
very happy with it. So, <laughs> so usually I'll be here for maybe an hour or two, just walking around the mall. It's just nice because there's shade outdoors, good people watching, and bang out a couple thousand, few thousand steps here. So. Post workout, I'm gonna have two and a half servings of this yogurt and then about 170 grams of blackberries. All right, guys, so meal number three, we're going to my favorite sushi spot ever. Katana Sushi, right there. So I've been getting basically the same meal there up to four times a week. <laughs> so the macros are very consistent. I brought my scale with me, but I honestly really don't have to weigh anything just because they're so consistent with the portion sizes there. It's basically their nigiri meal, uh, which comes with a little soup and salad, which I don't even really track. It's just like a miso soup and some lettuce. Uh, and then it's got a few different kinds of nigiri, which I will show you guys. This is what I always get, sushi dolls. It comes with miso soup and a little salad. So here's the meal that I've been getting basically three, four times a week here. <laughs> got some tuna, escalar, shrimp, tuna roll, sea bass, some salmon, and machi. And then I also get escalar and a hotate, scallops. So good. I love this place. They just brought out the Chutoro, uh, just because we come out here so much. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to eat that. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. All right, guys. So, end of the day here. It's about 11 p.m. Eastern time, and boy is pretty tired. I think I hit around 12,500 to 13,000 steps for the day. Showed you guys all my meals for the day. I think the only thing I didn't include was like 10 baby carrots that I snacked on and I forgot to record. But <laughs> that was all I had. And we're gonna go to sleep now. Do it all again tomorrow. Gotta keep that routine. Thanks for tuning in guys.